being a person that grew up watching ACC and going to an ACC school, what did you think when Syracuse and like Pittsburgh and all these other teams kind of like came to the ACC? Were you like, that's a good thing? That's a, that's a strange thing? I'd say, I mean, it's always great playing Syracuse during the regular season because when you get to the NCAA tournament, like, for example, I think St. Peter's threw his own briefly at, at them in the second half. And, you know, Carolina knows what to do with that because we play you guys at least like twice a year and, and it's, 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 it's nothing for us. So, I mean, Syracuse, I, mean, I remember back in the day watching, watching games with you. And, um, you know, even when you guys played this year, this, this year was tough. But, you know, I always... I was a little, I was a little hesitant playing you guys just because of the zone and for, you know, you always have like an incredible team, whether or not you might have the talent that matches up with Carolina or Duke, the, 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 the team that Bayheim has is always, always incredible. And it's, it's punctuated by that zone, which, you know, most teams can't break down in college. Let's, let's be honest. But let's talk about that one game. I mean, this year, because I think it, it really changed how North Carolina could have maybe even not made the tournament. You and I were texting back and forth during the game. You're like, if, if North Carolina loses this game, I don't know if they're going to make it. Do you think they would have maybe got knocked out if, if they had lost to Syracuse in that game? I mean, that was certainly the, the, the perception at the time. I mean, what I liked, at least from, a, from my perspective, was that we came at you pretty hard in OT. Like RJ Davis got, got five quick points, um, which is something that really didn't happen earlier on in the season, like, you know, we always kind of, once Carolina got any sort of ad ad adversity thrown at them, they just kind of rolled over and just like took a 20 point loss or 25 point loss. So, I mean, it was good to see, you know, them in overtime, like take it, take it to Syracuse, like, like, like they did and come out with the win, similar to what they did with Baylor in the tournament. Like when, when Baylor came all the way back from 25 down and took it overtime, I was like, Oh my gosh, like there's no way that Carolina is going to pull this one out, especially with, Manic out, Caleb Love fouled out, and then the same thing. Like they, they straight off, straight off the bat, like Dontre Styles hit a three and, and and took it straight at him in overtime and didn't look back. So, you know, if for for Carolina, like it definitely wasn't like that at the, at the beginning of the year. Um, I think they found their stride in January after they lost to Wake Forest. I before that they they got crushed by Miami. By Miami, they got crushed by Wake Forest. We had a couple guys that left the program for one reason or another, and that that tightened the rotation. And you know, the team really came to their own. Like they got crushed by Duke, of course, and then they lost by to Pittsburgh uh, uh, pretty handily, which was pretty embarrassing. But yeah, I mean, at the point, like Sy if Syracuse were one that would have won that game, I mean, everybody would have ridden off Carolina, and you know, maybe they would have made a run in the ACC tournament. Who knows? But good to show that they 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 came through in adversity and won that game. They win that game, then they beat Duke in Cameron. Of all the times that you've watched Duke North Carolina, was that the ultimate like <laughs> aha moment of we got you guys? That was incredible. That was incredible. Like I, I, I will remember that game like more than any other so for the rest of my life. I mean, I remember in college watching JJ Reddick senior night get spoiled, but just the fact that like freaking you know they were showing celebrity after celebrity. Jerry Seinfeld was there. They had all the old Duke players all standing there. <laughs> And, you know, they just like, they, they just dominated in the, in the, in the second half. And it was just awesome to see. It was so great. And yeah, it was that game you, you could say was, it has been the start of this run that got him the final four. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I like to say it was a Syracuse game just because you know, that's what. Sure. Yeah. For, for this intense and purposes. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it just, I mean, I think, you know, it's, it's weird. Like it happens to a lot of teams where they have that one game where it's, they could fold, like you said, and then they just go and it's like, you know, if you look at their team or you if you take away the seeds and look at their team, it's like, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of talent on the team. They just went to a rough batch, new coach with Hubert stepping in, Hubert Davis. You know, what what do you see that's different from Hubert to from Roy, from Roy Williams? Oh, I mean, it's 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 kind of night and day, like the, 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 the way they play. Uh, you know, Roy always had two big guys down low, hammer the paint. We would out rebound you every single game, and then and then and then hit you on the secondary break. With Hubert, like you know, I've never seen a point guard walk it up the floor until this until this year with 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 RJ Davis. But they play a lot more pick and pop screening screening along the perimeter to get guys open for threes. But you know, you still have Baycott on the ins on the on the inside. You know, like like you said before we started here, like he had twenty and twenty against St. Peter's, like which is a ridiculous stat line. But you know. 
we would never see this emphasis on a perimeter game under Roy, like, like, like you do under Huber, which is cool. Cause I mean, that's the way the game's going. I mean, everybody, everybody that's on the, on the court right now should, should be able to shoot a three. And that's, that's basically what, what, what the Tar Heels are. Yeah. Except for big guy. I mean, he's like a traditional big guy, which is just like, just right. like, like instead of North Carolina, always got a big guy. But why I like big guy and manic is like, they, you know, they don't, I don't say they're unassuming dudes because they're huge guys. If you looked at Manic and didn't know it was it was Manic, you would think that it was just this, like, this slow guy. But he's always cutting. You know, he's got a nice outside yeah. shot. It's almost like teams forget about him because he's just that one guy on the team. But he can kill you slowly if they let him. Yeah, and he wasn't really doing that back in December and, and, and January. Like, like I said, you know, they had two guys that that left the team. Um, Anthony Harris was a guard that he's still with them, but he was ruled ineligible probably for academics. But, you know, who really knows? They don't they don't say. And then Dawson Garcia was a transfer from Marquette who had some illnesses in the family back home. So he did leave the team and, and, and went back home. Who knows if he's going to play play with them? But, you know, that shortens the rotation up quite a bit. So. You know, I, I, I told you all the time when we're watching games, like, you know, we don't go that deep. Like, we have five guys that play basically 35 minutes a game. I mean, Duke kind of has, 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 has a similar thing. But, you know, Brady Manic was probably playing like 20 minutes a game back in December and January, and was, we weren't really seeing that from him. But then once the rotation shortened up and Hubert was kind of forced into a lineup, you saw what, what he was capable of, and you saw guys – that knew how to play with each other like finally because that wasn't happening um, um earlier on in the season 